ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان بكم ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما ثم اما بعد فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار ثم اما بعد we begin firstly and foremostly by praising allah the almighty with praises and exaltations that indeed only he is worthy of and we begin by sending his peace and his blessings upon the last messenger muhammad bin abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa sallam then inshallah ta'ala the topic which has been given to me is the topic of terrorism and after thinking about the numerous ways that we can deal with this topic and the number of ways that we may have already have dealt with the topic it became a bit burdensome to figure out what would be the best way to deal with it but i thought that since we have never began with defining in the west not what us as muslims But what does the West, how do they define terrorism? Their intellectuals, their professors, their teachers, what do they say terrorism is? So I looked up the word terrorism. And I looked it up in what is known as the Oxford English Dictionary. Of which you find, usually in bookstores, you may find a smaller version of it if you go to any bookstore and you buy the oxford english dictionary it is a very small version of the of the original and the original is a voluminous work and it deals with every word from its origin throughout the centuries how has the word been used in what manner has the word been used so it is a voluminous book so i looked it up hoping and thinking that when i see this word terrorism in this western dictionary i would see next to it movements like al qaeda hamas and all of these all of these other movements you have throughout the world but amazingly the word terrorism itself which the dictionary gave the meaning gave two meanings the first meaning was a system of terror a system of terror the second meaning was a policy intended 
to strike with terror those against whom it is adopted. The employment of methods of intimidation, the fact of terrorizing or condition of being terrorized. And the first explanation or the first definition was government by intimidation. Ruling by intimidation. As directed and carried out by the party in power So this is the meaning that they give. Surprisingly, their meaning, unlike what we see in the popular media, the meaning is very wide. The meaning is very wide and it does not limit itself to Al-Qaeda. It does not limit itself to the Taliban. It does not limit itself to Al-Hamas. It doesn't limit itself to these groups. The meaning of it is very wide. So much so that the first place that this word terrorism was used for was for the government during the French Revolution. This is back in the 18th century. Now for those who have studied the French Revolution, especially in the West, it is applauded. The French Revolution is applauded today. If you go to the Western school system and read what they have to say about the French Revolution, it is applauded as one of the greatest intellectual revolutions that the past couple of centuries has ever witnessed. A revolution based upon intellect, rationality. Yet, the people of that time referred to it as what? As terrorism. So in 1795, it was written regarding the history of that, er- of that area of one in 1817 by Lady Morgan in her book France she wrote he was obliged to remain abroad during the whole reign of terrorism yani many of their politicians they had to leave the country during the reign of the Jacobins They had to leave the country. Why? What were the Jacobins known to do? Beheadings. Killings. So this act was defined as an act of terrorism. Terrorism is not something which was all of a a sudden popped into the dictionary in 1991. Or whenever the first world trade bombing took place. It didn't come into existence. In 2001, the first recorded use of the word terrorism is regarding a movement which is applauded by the West, not by us, by the West. It is applauded to be one of the greatest democratic, intellectual movements and revolutions ever witnessed. This is the first time the word terrorism is used. You understand through this, ya ikhwan wa akhawat, that keeping people in control through terror, any means of keeping people in control through terror, becomes an act of terrorism. Through the meaning that they're giving. Through the meaning that they're giving, Any means of controlling the people through terror, through fear, is an act of terrorism. So as we were speaking with the brothers on the way up, the police system here in the United States 
It is a system based upon terrorism. So their point is what? What is the point of the police? To strike fear in the hearts of the inhabitants of a city. Through the fear. The fear of what? Fear of getting tickets. The fear of going to jail. The fear of spending money. The fear of having your property taken away. They attempt to control the people through this act. Now in no way are we saying that this is wrong. We are not saying this is wrong, but we're saying let's be fair. Let's be fair. Let's not keep the masses ignorant regarding what terrorism actually is. This is an act of terrorism. Throughout the world today you have so many countries and institutions and organizations and their goal is what? Nuclear technology, nuclear power. To create the nuclear bomb. America with one of the biggest nuclear arsenals in the world. Its ally, what is known to them as Israel, Also, with a huge arsenal of nuclear weapons. Russia, a huge arsenal of nuclear weapons. What is nuclear power? By creating these nuclear bombs, atomic bombs... What is this other than an act of terrorism? Colin Powell. Colin Powell. It was his methodology when he ran the armed forces of this nation. His methodology was what? Amass your power. Amass weapons. Amass strength, military strength. Amass it for what? To deter the use of it. What does this mean, to deter the use of it? Meaning, get so many nuclear bombs in your hand, that anyone will be scared of attacking you. Fear will reside in their hearts against your nation. Fear will reside in their hearts against your nation. Why? Because of the weaponry you have, the strength that you have amassed. So what is this other than terrorism? Let it be noted that one out of every, yani 20% to 25% of the earth's population is Muslim. So one out of every four or five people is Muslim. You have whole continents, the majority of which is Muslim. Out of all of those countries, only one country has atomic weapons. Out of every Muslim country you can count, there is one country that has atomic weapons. Pakistan, that's it. Again, we are not speaking about the legality of this or that in the Islamic sense. As of yet, we are not speaking of that. And America, ya ikhwan, the United States has been the only country to ever use an atomic weapon. August 6th, 1945, the American bomber, Enola Gay, drops